this is Sheffield. Not quite what you expected, perhaps, but all these delightful scenes and many more, quite as picturesque, and acres of moorland are within the city boundary. A city not of dreaming spires, but of flaming furnaces, powerful steam hammers, great foundries and huge rolling mills. A city of over half a million inhabitants, the fifth largest city in England. This is the busy high street and far gate, a broad street of fine buildings and splendid shops. And here is the town hall with Vulcan, representative of the city's industries on its tower. Vulcan was the Roman god of fire and maker of marvelous works of iron. Heavy freights pass by rail to a thousand destinations, molten steel flowing like water to be molded into ingots from which perhaps some engineering marvel will emerge. These are tramway points and crossings made from ingots. When white hot, they are immersed in water, part of a highly technical treatment which gives extreme resistance to wear. And now for a glimpse of one of the greatest of Sheffield's inventions, stainless steel. What would the housewife think of mangles like these which roll the sheets of the silvery enemy of rust? Here is made not only the steel, but huge electrical furnaces for making steel. This is one for Russia. The magnet of your moving coil loudspeaker was probably made in this city. Highly complex machinery like this magnetizes the steel magnets in millions. And now for those lighter trades where artistry and craftsmanship combine. The beauty of Sheffield Plate is world-renowned. Here are workers in precious metals. This man is cutting a filigree design on a silver cake basket. Our knives have been famous for over 700 years. You see now the forging of some of the million of steel knife blades, gifts which prime ministers have been proud to receive. What woman can do without her scissors? These are scissor blanks being forged, and here they are being polished. This last glimpse shows a giant circular saw being made flat by hammering, an old craft. And incidentally from this city go forth those wonderful steels which have enabled the world's speed records in air and land to be won by Britain. Passing by, and hell, 